Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing a brand new late night eBay finds. So let's get started. Push the camera back a bit there, but guys, if you saw that new intro that we've got for this one, it's pretty cool. Thanks to Quentin for that one. Uh, he made that for me. Um, I asked him if he could do one, and he said, yeah, sure, why not? So that's what we have for now for late night eBay finds. I hope you guys like it. If you guys do uh, like it, you know, put it in the comment section below. Like the video, why not? Um, because we are going to try to start doing intros for smaller series like this and not just have one big main one. So maybe for Pop Hunts we'll make a new one. And for, um, well, P.O. Box we kind of have one now. I made one quickly kind of with Noah. He's the postman in it, so it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to start doing that now where we have like different things where they're their own intros and stuff. So I thought you guys would like that one. But today, guys, we have this package that I ordered from eBay. Now, what I like about this is that it actually has a Fragile sticker on the bottom of it there. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's actually really useful when they do that kind of thing, just because it's a little bit easier, and usually the box comes in better condition, and it doesn't seem to be too bad. I'm guessing because the pop is a lot smaller than this box. Like, usually, guys, you know, let me take a pop down so you guys can see it. If you guys are to see this box compared to the pop, it's pretty small compared to it, so there's some wiggle room for it. So I hope that the, bo the box on the pop came in okay. I'm not sure, but um, we'll just have to find out. It was only $20. It wasn't even that expensive. So let's get into this, guys. Um, last time, before we get into this, last time I got a Batman. It was the Joker Batman. That one was a fun one. Then the time before that, I got the uh, Batman vs. Superman um uh, kryptonite two pack it's like the complete green one anyways those were the two that i got before so far it was only batman so this time i decided to look around for something besides just batman so i i, I kind of shook it up a little with this one i hope you guys enjoy this um someone who just got this one or recently bought this one was jetta patrol so i saw this one in his video and he said it wasn't even that expensive so i was like yeah sure why not let me order it and um it came up to 20 $22 when I think it goes for like $25, 26 on their, um, on their website or on uh, Stashpedia and uh, uh, Pop Price Guide. So I decided to get this one. Um, this one is one of those ones that I used to collect the set for. Or I, well, I wanted to collect the set, but it was back in like 2015, I think these ones came out. And this one was a conventions exclusive. So if you guys are trying to guess it here, I'll go a little bit more. They made one for the another like kind of like a spinoff of the original series. Um, it was an animated cartoon. It was DreamWorks. Um, this is right around the time when they started making Shrek Pops as well. Um, they were just making this new movie, and it was with only penguins. The Penguins of Madagascar was the movie, actually. And um, this is the conventions exclusive uh, from that series. And I think this one's really awesome just because it's such a different pop, too. But you guys can see here, it's this. Um, it's still in bubble wrap. This. Let's Okay, guys, so we're going to rate everything about this, really. How's the box smell this time? You know what? It smells pretty good. Last time it smelled a little odd. This time it doesn't smell that bad. Last time I said it smelled like a Denny's at 2 a.m., but this time it doesn't. Um, but anyways, guys, we're going to get into this here. This box is in pretty much mint condition. I saw some of these dings on it when I was ordering it, um, like this one here. Guys, I want to show you this before we actually get into it too much. I saw these dings here, like this one. I saw these dings when I was ordering it like this and that and this little one down here at the bottom honestly not even that bad the Joker Batman came in personally I think it was worse condition um, the paint on him the actual cheese doodle paint as you guys can see here like that's pretty much the best you're gonna get for cheese doodle paint but this is the 2015 uh, summer conventions exclusive there's like the little bit of cheese doodle on him the only thing that's different about him is the cheese doodle paint right over the front of it because um, he actually apparently had the cheesy dibbles in the original one as well, which I wasn't sure if he did or not, but I, I guess he did. So here's Skipper, guys, with the cheese dibbles, and uh, they're really funny. Now, in the rest of the set, guys, you can get Skipper, Kowalski, uh, who else we got here? Skipper, Kowalski, Rico, a private, and then who's that last one down there? Short Fuse, right, Short Fuse. Short Fuse? Yeah, anyways, um, that is him there, so honestly great condition for the box let's take this guy out and show you what he looks like on the inside now if you guys didn't know there's a cool way you can do this by opening it up this way um let's show you guys there we go now you just pop it open like that and then you don't get that little crease in the middle which it looks like this person never opened up the box unless they open it from the bottom no this box had never been opened because you can tell if someone's opened it because let me show you with another one which i've for sure done it with when you open up a box guys and i've done it with this for sure um, when you open it up, look, the inside of the flap gets a little bit of a crease. Do you see that there? Let me see if I can get that. Like that. 
kind of right there. And that's what the problem is with these boxes is when you do that, there's a little bit of a crease. But if you do it with the knife thing, then it looks like it's never been opened before because there's no crease, which is nice. Um, so if anybody is ever to buy pops from someone on eBay, see if they have a top down version of it or the bottom up. That way you can see if there's been like um, opens, openings from it, if that makes sense. Um, but here he is here guys out of his box. Um, actually really cool character. I'm glad that I ordered this one. Um, I'm looking for obscure pops to order for late night eBay finds. Like the Batman ones are cool. I love getting Batman ones. But this is just one of those characters that I feel like is so different. You might have never seen it before. A lot of people started collecting after 2015. Because you know that was three years ago now. 2015, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, so anyways guys. Um, I just thought I'd tell you this one about it. Because it is a very cool character. And I do like the way they did the uh, the cheese only on the white-ish part. But you guys can see on his hands here. It's almost like Cheeto dust. Like, as look there. He's got it all over his hands and everything. It's just a really funny character. And the original one I'm seeing on this box actually was him holding the cheese dibbles. They just added the orange kind of um, stuff to it. That'd be cool if they could do it with other characters like this. Like, if they're eating something, they put it all over them. But this does go really well with the movie as well. Because he did do that a lot. Um... But that's pretty much it for this character, guys. If you guys have any ideas for stuff that I could buy on eBay, that could be pretty cool. Um, like, if you guys see any good eBay listings or anything like that, just put it in the comment section below. Because I always like to see your ideas. And if you guys are like, hey, that's a cool pop, or this one's not too expensive. Now, I always go to the... Um, Here's a little bit of a tip for you guys. If you want to get good stuff on eBay, go to recently listed, or like the newest listed, and then go to um, buy it now. Because, you know, the the... The auctions are going to be like six days, seven days from then. But if you get go to the buy it now section, this is how I got this one. You go to the buy it now section and then stuff will come up for a little bit cheaper than normal because most of the time it's people who are um, putting stuff up there just because they um, want to get rid of stuff out of their collection. But it is the newest stuff. So whatever the newest is, if there's someone who maybe doesn't know how to price the character, if there's something different about it, it'll come up right away, guys, right there at the top, the newest listings. That's how I like to get all my eBay stuff. And I think it's actually really easy to do it that way just because you get a lot of pretty cool stuff. Kind of like how I got this skipper. I I also got my um, Batman Joker like that. I think the Batman Joker was like $12 shipped. It's, it wasn't even that expensive, and I do love that character a lot. So, uh, Oh, also, guys, I wanted to talk about the two characters I got yesterday because I didn't do a pop hunt on it. I wanted to talk about it in this video. So I got two over at EB Games in Canada, and ones that you guys would really like because I know a lot of people like these ones. And uh, one of them's a bobblehead, another one's one that I wanted to order. Um, I actually ordered one online, so I'll have two of these, so maybe I'll use one for a giveaway. Um, but this one, the first one that I bought that I wanted to go in to get a second one for was Dr. Ian Malcolm. Now, people were saying that they spelt it wrong on the box, and I don't know what you're talking about. Is it... I think something was spelt wrong, but anyways, guys, here it is here. Now, this is it. People are wondering about this exclusive sticker. Because I'm from Canada, they had to put the, um, the worldwide exclusive on there, like the, the sticker for, like, um the worldwide like everywhere which is why they put that on there and not the target one which is a little bit different but um yeah that's what's up with that one and then the other one that i got guys was the one that uh, they had one of this left and i was so surprised when i saw this one box was slightly damaged which i wasn't really caring about because i was probably going to display this one out of the box anyways um it is the hulk bursting out of the hulk buster such a cool pop uh cletus said it's like eight inches or something like that so it's a really tall character um one of the ones that I'd wanted a lot. This is just one of those cool ones that you don't you don't think you're ever going to see too often. So him coming out of the Hulkbuster is really awesome. Now apparently, um, the, like people who um, make these characters, now people are kind of like wondering why it wasn't in the movie. So a lot of people don't know this, but Funko only gets part of what they can see. So the designers are like, yeah, this, like they give them a little bit, but just enough to make the characters. And then they said something about Bruce Banner being in the Hulkbuster suit. So they said, okay, let's uh, do something with that. So they made this. And then what happened was they Marvel approved it because, um, well, I, I don't know why they would approve it if it wasn't in the movie, but they approved it. And because they all they had heard was Bruce Banner was going to be in the Hulkbuster suit. So how else would they do it unless having Hulk coming out of it somehow? So that's why they did this. And that's why there's a couple other toys like this as well. So just wanted to let you guys know about that because that's why, what's up with this guy right here. That's why he's not in the movie, but... They do have a character for him. Still really cool. But anyways, guys, let's get back to the skipper here. If you guys have anything cool that you guys see for me on eBay, or if you guys want to order it and let me know what you guys find on eBay, just put it in the comment section below. 
Um, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys ever see anything good, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, we try to do these at least once a week if I order something on eBay, but you know, sometimes I can't get something once a week or I don't see anything too good for a while. So they'll come around every once in a while. Late night eBay fans will always be on the channel. But anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. <laughs>